Hey guys, you're watching Z1 and Only. My name is AJ, and we are back on another mini tutorial on how to build a fire truck or fire engine if you're in the UK. That's what we call them. So, we're here like normal on the uh, Let's Build a City world. We've got the school right here. We've got the little bonus house I done right there. And here's our fire truck. So, he's waiting at the traffic lights here. And uh, for the size of the truck, we've got as much detail in it as possible. I like to try and keep everything to scale. So, this fire truck is a little bit wider than normal cars. Our normal cars like over here, are only three blocks wide, but fire truck is a little bit bigger, so we've made it four blocks wide to sort of keep it to scale, and uh, yeah, I sort of, I really do like it, I do really like it, it suits in with everything like that, and when we build a fire station, we will definitely be using this design, so let's go and build it, I'll go and find a space. Okay, so I've found a space, and it's just outside the water treatment plant, the water treatment facility, and uh, this is a nice free patch of road with no cars on it, so let's build it, we're going to need some black wool, some red wool, and some white wool to start off with. And the first thing you're going to want to do is put down your front wheels, which are going to be uh, four blocks apart. So two blocks in the middle like so. And then we're going to do the cabin first. We're going to go one block in front and two blocks behind and uh, make this into like a little four by four square like so. And then we're going to put down our uh, white wool on top for the sort of white and red design that they have. And then we're going to have a red block here, here, here and here oh and along the back in fact because there's no point having a back window on these <laughs> so let's grab some glass for the windscreen and stuff windscreen we're going to go straight along here and on the two sides here now what i done in the last one because uh, i don't know why i do it but i just like to do it we can't actually get into this car but i still like to put the railing and the mine carts down for i don't know whatever reason so we can actually sit inside it not that we can actually get inside it with the roof on but i don't know i just like to do it so we can now put the roof on like so and whoops make sure you leave this row here free uh, you don't need to put any uh, slabs over this row here that I've left blank but we can put two on here and put the sirens on like that so uh, we're gonna leave it there and then we're gonna move on to this next back bit which is gonna be the part that joins up the cabin to the sort of trailery bit of it this is sort of American style uh, fire truck. We don't have these sort of huge long ones uh, in the UK, but I still want to do it because uh, they stand out the most. They're the most iconic looking um, fire trucks there are. So let's go back a little bit. Now, I've worked it out that we have got... Uh, let me get to the picture. Because I got a picture on my phone so I didn't have to completely think that hard about it. Because I don't like thinking very hard. So we've got a gap here and then there's going to be trap doors here, a gap here then trap doors here there's going to be levers on these not on these blocks but on this level sort of thing uh, levers there and then two ladders and that's going to give us the length of our fire truck like so so it's one two three four five six seven eight blocks the back is going to be with a wheel one uh, one towards the front of the back I don't know how would you explain that I don't know how to explain that uh, you guys know what I mean. Just copy what I'm building. <laughs> if you can't copy it, then uh, good luck building things. So, <laughs> we're going to get the white layer, but the white layer is only going to go five blocks, and then the three at the end are going to be up in the air like this. Uh, we get a little bit of a different design, a little bit of a different paint job on it, and then fill in red in the gaps. We're going to get a big red thicker bit here, uh, which I really like, along here and along here. You might notice that this is the same... Uh, fire engine that we had in what was it called um there's hunger games uh, as you want to know the airlines so we put the wheel hubs on here like so and we can use the buttons up for the front lights we're going to have a light there and a light there and let's put the undercarriage on the bumpers on the front because they make it look so much better it's definitely a very important thing to do when building your any vehicle is to make sure you have bumpers on them uh, it sort of lowers down the car makes the car look a little bit lower than what it usually would do um, it sort of covers up the wheels like they are in real life so it's definitely an important thing to do whoops just get under here and place underneath the cabin like so and underneath here I'm gonna go as far as I can reach to save some time and uh, fill this back in and then jump under here feel like a mechanic here <laughs> here 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 whoops and there 
and here. Can I reach that? Yes, I can. And along the back. And this automatically makes any vehicle look so much better just by putting these under here. It's a little bit awkward to do because you've got to break the floor to get underneath them. But it looks so much better. As you can see, the fire engine always all, already looks a lot better. So we're going to put the uh, roof on now. Again, we're going to leave this blank gap uh, for the ladder on the top, which we're going to use rail for. So we're going to get our black wool back. Whoops, not green wool. Black wool. Fill in this one. Uh, we're going to fill that one in there. We don't need the ladder going all the way up. And then put a rail along here. And it looks like the ladder that they have on the top. On the back there. Now we're going to get some detail blocks out. So we're going to get uh, the levers. Trap doors. Uh, ladders. We're going to need some redstone torches for the rear lights. And I think that'll do for the minute. So we're going to put the rear lights on. And the back I have a ladder. And then I have two trap doors there and there. And then on this side... I have two ladders, two levers, and then a trap door here and a trap door here, here and here. Like so, and it sort of looks like, these sort of look like the hoses, these look like some spare ladders, and these sort of look like the little cupboards that they have on the sides of them uh, to store whatever they store in them. I saw a picture of a dog that um, was in a fire and it saved a load of puppies and actually stored all the puppies, oops, in the uh, in the fire truck in in like these little cupboards here, it was open and the dog went in there because it knew it was safe or something. It was really nice. Anyway, on the front here we're gonna put uh, four trap doors to make one giant grill on the front, and we are done. And I think it looks crazy. I think it looks really really nice. It's really well scaled to uh, the scale that we're using on this world. Uh, sort of almost realistic scale, I think. You know, it's about the right size against your Steve character. And uh, yeah, I really do like it. So if you guys enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Send in your pictures of you building it and any other designs, any other fire truck designs that you have. Send them into my Twitter. My Twitter will be in the description below. Blah, 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 description. <laughs> and uh, we shall see you in the next episode, guys. So bye.